ready to start home? I think so. Okay, you head on out. I'll pack the stuff up and be behind you. This should be fun. Well, it appears he got it into road gear. Bouncing along the road nicely. Just ahead he has a pretty good hill. <clears throat> so I guess that'll be the first test of uh, full fuel flow to the carburetor. So uh, let's see what happens. she sounds pretty good I have to downshift she sounds like she's pulling strong hill almost crested Okay, first test passed. We got updates. Yeah. Tell us what you know, Wilson. Um, track isn't getting enough fuel. It's having trouble running the hills, is it? having trouble running at all oh so where is it right now it's, it's down that road highway g lake mills and uh, what's the next move towing company <laughs> <laughs> For a ride for the tractor. I mean, we're comfortable where yeah, we well, are. Well, hopefully, but... we don't need to ride with this, too. <laughs> okay, stay tuned. Okay, the mechanic work has been begun. Wilson started with plugs instead of the carburetor. What are you finding with the plugs? They're all dry and just some carbon. And then, um, of course, gapping these two perfect specs. Gapped. Where are the old ones? In those boxes. I'll pull uh, another one out here in a sec. This is the third plug going. 
But this, yeah, uh, I'm using my perfect specifications for the gaps. Working on this does not... Wait a minute. Look quite as easy as the H. The H's hood has four um, spring clamps. Yeah, these come off in halves. So you have to actually unbolt this hood to get it off. The H's, you unclamp four clamps and lift it off straight up and over. Three on ours because you cut one of the clamps off. Oh, did I? No, but I put a like a baler clamp on there, a uh, cam clamp. Is that gone? No, it's not there anymore. Oh. Uh, being cheered on by uh, Stormy. I know, it's hot, isn't it? I don't blame you, Stormy. Go ahead and complain. Yes. Tell her twice. Also, another thing is on the H, there aren't hydraulics here. Am I leaking gas over there? Or is that just still wet from this morning? It doesn't look like it's leaking. Must be wet from this morning. Must be oil. That is oil. From Probably from where I set the funnel. Yeah. I was gonna say, there's nowhere it can be leaking right there. See, if that gas was from this morning, it would have evaporated. Yeah. The plug wasn't very tight. I found that on all these things. The plugs weren't very tight at all. I don't think to the point where they're losing compression. Yeah, I'm going to grab a pliers on the other side and uh, disconnect the hose on the fuel line and see if I have it flowing to the carburetor. Yeah. All right, checking out the line going into the carb. There's a screen filter on the end of it. Mmm. Lovely. Oh, it looks pretty plugged. That must be what our problem was, for the most part. All right. Uh... Oh, that is plugged. Bring it over to the blow hose. Let's see if we can blow in that in, see if we can make it come out. Or, yeah, because it flows in. What's out. the flow? Anyway, let's see if we can blow it out. <laughs> there we go. Clear. Um, do I have any carb cleaner on here? I don't think I do. Acetone. Let me see. I think that's what the problem was. Probably. Where's the... Uh... That's a lot of fuel flow restriction. I don't even know where the acetone is. I was going to say just stick that in a little puddle of that and spoil it. But I guess you're getting it with the blower. I know, I'd still like to get that out with that stuff. Right. Last stuff, can't see nothing. Alright, let's put some acetone in here. Put a little bit in there. I'll just swirl it around in there. Looks like you must have got it pretty clean. There's not too much swirling on it anymore. Do you see any? Don't lose that. See my ring. I know a little bit came out. All right, I'd say reinstall. Okay, Wilson. Well, did get ahead of me with the plug replacement because I wanted to do a compression test while the plugs were out, but I guess we can do that when it stops running next time. Hmm. Now just take the pliers and I think I have it on top of there. Squeeze and slide those bolts, do I not? No. <laughs> what did I do with it?
bring them back together. Maybe this one. Yeah, I put the nose in there and those are the pliers and spread them, tighten them up. It should be right. It's a warm day, rubber's pretty pliable, a little soak back on there. Okay, now flip the gas back on. Be nice if we could drain the carb, but. Don't see any leaks right now. Got your wires back on the plugs. Yeah. All right, pull that stuff off the hood so if it starts, it won't vibrate onto the ground. Or I would have to bend over and pick her up. Pardon the mess here, it's all moms. Right. Yes, I'm thirsty and it's getting warm. It's got my name on it. Well, there he goes. I think he said he was going to go grab the cow's feed wagon with it. Well, I think it just shut off. Perhaps we have to pull the carburetor apart a little more than just the front side. Funny thing is, that's exactly the way he gets up in the morning. Incidental carb. I was gonna say park it over there and Pull the carb just let it run throttle up and see what happens, see if it dies. You might be able to cycle it through. Probably not. Alright, guess it's time to pull the carb. Yep, I'd say it's on full carb. First thing there, it was running well. Yep. 
And then once I got about there. <laughs> At least now you have the carb on the right side. Oh, I can't even get moving at first. Just let it roll. something you have had a few more significant chunks come down through the sight glass there but uh to me that sounds definitely something in the carburetor right now the only thing you haven't pulled off go at it if that's what you want to do yep He's got a rattle in there that sounds almost like a muffler cap flapping open and closed. But that's not what it is because he has no muffler cap. I'm assuming it's a piece of metal within the muffler that has left let loose and is just banging around in there. So we'll have to look at that. He's messing with his TA lever right now. drawbar hole because that pin was too big uh -huh. so I took one of those pins to put in there then I grabbed a piece of oak to put in there to keep the drawbar from swinging yeah I'd see you better run into the shop and grab a proper pin <laughs> so the uh, rattle are you convinced that's inside the muffler too Oh no, I can't see the fan, but I would assume. Well, I've I, heard I would fan. If I was hitting, that would be constant. Yeah, I've heard the fan, a fan hit the shroud before, and that was more of a, you know, clatter rather than a tinking like that. But I'm not One sure. way to find out would be just take the muffler Where's off. Where's the uh, antifreeze coming from? Oh, you're overflowing. Yeah. I got it pretty full. Not like topped off, but like yeah. That's... Now, have you seen any uh, any uh, activity on your temp gauge? No. So it probably doesn't work. Doesn't work. I would get that fixed. Yeah. Soon. So you can be sure you're not overheating. Make sure your thermostat's working. Water pump is seems tight and it's not leaking so I'm assuming that's okay you have a grease fitting here to lubricate that did you see that no I didn't just probably one pump okay. yeah I pulled the wagon with it I see I got it on film gotta figure out the PTO now I just gotta get it developed yep, gotta get the PTO working hydraulics working and the PTO, uh, we cannot get it to turn on with this lever, but it's because the shaft that that lever turns is just slipping inside the... So we're not sure if there's a key in there, if it just needs to be adjusted tighter. Or if something's actually stuck in here and, and then we're not strapped. Then we're not sure that if it does turn the shaft, it's going to turn the PTO on. So, And the rear seal leaks. Yeah. But that's not a new one. The H's does that too. 
some of the oil we put in this morning is coming out right there. But that's about actually, the only should, place I've seen oil leaking. Grab the big, which is pretty good. The big because, channel locks and see if I can spin that. I'm not sure if you're, it's supposed to spin, to tell you the truth. Well, if it's engaged, which it's not, but if it were engaged, it would spin the tractor. And if it's not engaged, it should just spin. But on that other uh, 300 that was right next to this one, it didn't spin either. The PTO did work, but when it was off, you couldn't spin it. Yeah. So I'm not sure it freewheels like the H. Because yeah. obviously this it's is different. A, it's live PTO. Yes. You'll have to study that out. Yep. Okay. So Wilson, will you give me a ride on your new tractor? Yeah. Is there a place for me to ride on your new tractor? Yeah. Okay. It's a new old tractor. Yeah, new old tractor. It's at oldest 70 years old. It's what? At the oldest 70 years old. 70? Because you said 1952 to 54 or 54, 54 to, to 56. 56, yeah. So yes, 24 back to it's 54. A, it's around 70 years old. All right, well, let's go take the wagon up. Yep. So Wilson's taking the muffler off because he thinks something's rattling around in there. Doesn't sound. Is there something? We'll see. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna put it on when I get back. But we'll see if it's still rattled. I looked around, but I don't see it. Really the air is really tight. I don't know. It could be there. Okay. Don't don't go by what I know. It's not.
across the lookout. Thank <laughs> you. 